Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will be learning how to create this singing app in Redux Toolkit. Okay, so now let me just uh, demonstrate to you how this application works. Uh, basically, there's um, the drop down where you can select the list of songs. So now we have um, two songs uh, from the list here. So let's say if I click on this one here, the first one, right? And you can see the highlight just keep moving every second to the next one. Okay, and the same for this one as well. All right. So without further ado, let now get started. Okay, so now we're going to start with the first one here. It's called songslide.js. All right. So we will need to import create slide from this will be redux.js slash toolkit. All right. So if you haven't installed this package yet, so what you're going to do is basically just coming down here. You will need to mpni and then just type the whole thing here. So this will install this npm package. All right. And in this um, project, we need to also install react redux as well. So this will be react dash redux. All right. So you have to install these two packages before you can start writing this. All right, so now let's continue with um, the code. I will need to first initialize the state. So initialize state. The first one will be the current line. We want to uh, set our current line to uh, zero. Okay, starting from index zero. Also with the song as well, it will be null. And then down here, we can start defining the song slide that will be using the create slide. All right, and inside here, we will have the name. So let's just call this a song and then initial state uh, up there that we define. Also, there are two reducer in this uh, song slide as well. First one is the set current line. So the current line, you have two parameter, the action uh, and state. And then inside here will be state dot the current line equal to action dot payload. Okay. And next one here is the set song state action, the same thing. And inside here, state.song. This is action.payload. I'll explain you the code in a little bit. And also state current line. We set this uh, to zero. Okay. Whenever that we call or click on the next song, then this will reset to zero. And then down here, let's just export the set current line as well as the set song. So this is the song slide dot action. There are two action, right? And then uh, here we going to also export the full song slide so that we can import this in the other file, right? So just like that, um, this actually in the source state. Okay. So everything seemed to be good um, because of the time limitation. I don't want to uh, have a very long video, like up to 30 minutes, right? So I'm going to skip the uh, part of writing uh, for the other files. And I'll just explain you um, all the files that we have, uh, how this application works and stuff. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys. So now um, I have also written the code in this store.js app.js also index.js as well so we're going to start with the song slide that i just uh, written earlier right we're going to go through this file so basically this is the song slide module um, it's defined the initial state uh, for the redux store and also the uh, set current line also the set uh, song reducers um, these two reducer it update the state of the store when departure okay when it is uh, starting the action okay when it's departure and down here basically we uh, export this so that we can use in the other file the same for the uh, song slide here as well now let's take a look at the uh, store.js right 
as you can see, we uh, import the configure store from Redux.js last toolkit and also the song slide coming from this file here, right? And here we um, just export the configure store. This is the uh, reducer. Um, the reducer function here, uh, it will be used to manage uh, the state of the song slide, okay? The state of the song slide of the store. And then the uh, song slide or the user here, it is a reference to a function that is created using the create slide function from uh, Redux Toolkit's uh, library in this song slide.js. Okay, so basically, this one here it is referring, it is reference to a function that create using the create slide here, right? They are connected. Okay, and app.js here, um, we have the uh, imported the uh, use uh, selector and also use uh, the patch from React Redux as well. And this is the uh, song slide that I uh, also show you here, right? We export the set current line and set song, and now we get to use it here. And this is the use the patch. Um, and here we have the use selector uh, setting the current line and also the song as well. And this is the use effects um, as seen here, down here in the array. We um, define the current line and also this the patch uh, function as well. So if there's something change in the current line, then this will call get call every time. Okay. So we have the um, set interval, also the set current line every time that we uh, select a song then it will uh, use the current line uh, by default whenever that we change the song it will start from zero and then it add up uh, one every time every second right this is the uh, thousand uh, milliseconds and here we just clear the interval uh, just to avoid any uh, memory leak issue okay and this is the um, handle change whenever that we change it to the next song then this set song will depart okay it will start the action and this is just a list of the um, lyrics or also song as well we have the title and this is the lyric of the song uh, separate by the comma this will go to the next line right and then um, here in the return we just show here and then the select this is the um, drop down right uh, whenever that we select the list of song any of the song from the list then it will start doing all of the uh, rendering like title and here the list of title here right and then this is the song if that does exist then it will go to the lyrics and then try to find if it match with the title of the song then it will just render that and simply looking for the current line and the, also the current index as well say if it's much then it will uh, change the background color from white to uh, yellow and then it move to the next one right so if i change this it will just highlight the current uh, sentence then it will move to the next one every second okay and this is just showing the line down here and yep in the index.js we import the store okay that we define here so the store here basically we used it with the provider meaning that once we import it here with the uh, provider here will be available throughout our application okay we can access or call any um, data from anywhere fit in the application this is how the application is written using redux toolkit hope the application is clear enough and i'll see you guys in the next project